hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this nail art this ice cream nail art when first the bad guy song came out i decided to jump on it and create this um this ice cream nail art so kindly watch this till the end and see how long it took me to create this set this is my first time of doing something like this i have not even done the practice i just thought about it and i decided to start doing it um so guys i don't like doing it out so kindly forgive any mistake you may see me committing okay so after each application of gel polish i cure in the uv lamp for 30 seconds before i apply another color on it so guys today i'm going to i'm going to be ranting as well about how some client treats me when they want to book their appointment you know i'm a very respectful person and i always believe that respect should be reciprocal but you know some clients because they want to pay you money they believe that they can talk to you anyhow and also because they see that you do nails they believe that um, because I do nails I'm not educated or I'm a lesser human being to them which is not supposed to be so you know for the fact that somebody is not on the same category as you does not mean that that person is not human so now I started taking booking fee because some clients book and they fail, they fail to show for the appointment and they don't bother to call me or send me a message to explain why they will not be coming for the appointment. And you know when you book someone for an appointment and someone else calls you and says, do you have, do you have a, a, an open slot for this time? You tell them you, you book somebody for that appointment and the person ends up not coming. One time is gone then I, I lose money for that time you know and most of these clients they don't even care whether you lose money they just feel that they can decide not to show for the appointment and nothing happens so i decided to start collecting money from people and it's just two thousand naira. and when this booking fee is always the is always part of their service charge so maybe you want to book an appointment for maybe eight thousand naira news set of news i tell you to pay two thousand naira. so when you're done you just balance the 6,000 naira. So most of them that always have issues to pay this money are either people that always come late or they have reasons for not showing up, you know. So now, I use Paystack to do the booking link. So once I send a booking link to you and you click on the link, you see a clause that says if you are 30, min 30 minutes late for your appointment, that 2000 naira is gone okay and that is where a lot of people get angry and they don't always want to pay the money even some of them they don't even get to that point once i just say you're paying booking fee they flare up and they start talking anyhow okay so now i started doing this because i had this particular client is even more than one person when they book for 11 o'clock appointment 11 a appointment the person comes by 2 p.m and when she comes she's going to be sorry that she came late she just says the most important thing is I'm here, you know, and I have to do my nails. Not considering the fact that some other person is there and they want to do their um, nails as well. So I started taking booking fee. And when I started, a lot of people stopped coming to me to do nails because they just feel that, ah, why will I pay booking fee? I've known you for a long time. I, I come on time. So why do, you, why do you expect me to be paying booking fee? And I should give, um, like, I should give an uh, exception to some of them, you know. One, I'm a principled person and I always feel that um, if this person does the same thing, does something, okay, if A, if I ask A to do something, I should all, also be able to ask B to do something. So it would not be fair for me to take client A to pay booking fee and take client B not to pay booking fee. So back to my rant, you know, um, some of them, once you, they call you and you tell them to pay booking fee, they start talking and they start saying, um, what if I didn't call you to book an appointment? What if I just walk in? Will you not take me? And I try to, I always try to explain to them that um if I'm if you walk in and I'm um and I'm working on a client and I have maybe I have two people booked that on ground and you come, that means you have to wait for like four hours. 
So the best thing, I always advise the best thing for you is to just pay. Then I'll, I'll, I'll give you a particular time to come. And when you come at that particular time, I just attend to you. That is not, it's not difficult to understand. So I don't know why they always want to fight me. Or they always want to talk to me anyhow because I tell them to pay this booking fee. You know, I do business. I cannot be running at a loss because I want to satisfy you people or because I want to make you guys happy. So because of that, then I will not be running at a loss. It's not fair. You know, I pay rent, I pay service charge and all. So if I don't make money, I book your appointments and you don't come, I don't I don't make money, how will I be able to pay my rent? You know. And it's not fair for you guys to just feel that you can talk to people anyhow because um you feel that they are not in the same category as you. I do news and maybe you work in the office. That does not mean that I'm a lesser human being to you. You know. It just means that I'm in my own field and you're in your own field. So when I come to your office as well, I, I, won't, I, I will not talk to you anyhow. The same way you are coming to my office, I don't expect you to talk to me anyhow. So if you are my client and you are watching this or you are listening to this, please, I would like you guys to understand that the booking fee I take is part of your service charge. You know, um, if you come on time, 30 minutes, I give 30 minutes grace. So I know that there can be traffic in Lagos and everything, you know. If I give you 30 minutes grace, if you still come within that time, your money is still there. But if you come after then, that's when your money is gone, you know. This same set of people that always refuse to pay the booking fee are this same set of people that will travel out of the country. They will pay booking fee and they will go on time for the appointment. If in Nigeria, when they have appointments at the airport, maybe they are traveling, they have to catch a flight or they have appointment at the embassy, this same set of people will go there on time. But when it comes to their news, when it comes to booking their appointment with me, you know, and I tell them to pay booking fee, I don't want, maybe come early, I don't want you to come late. They start talking to me as if maybe because they are paying me, they feel that um they can do any uh, the next thing you hear them say, Ah, are you the only one that do nails in Lagos, nails in Lagos or in the Kedja? I can't go somewhere else if you don't want to do my nails, you know. It's it should not get to that. It should not always get to that, you know. So try to put myself in your shoes. How would you feel if some you book an appointment? If I book an appointment with you for something, I don't show up, I don't call, and I, or I don't come on time, and it's going to affect other person's appointment. You know, let's say for example, I book, I give you 10 a.m. appointment, and I give somebody else 12 12 p.m. appointment. If you don't come on time for your appointment, maybe you come one hour late, it's going to eat into the other person's time, and I don't like begging somebody. You know, begging someone that is there. For our own appointment, I don't like begging the person. Like, ah, please, I'll soon be done. Let me quickly rush this person's nails. When the person, when you could have come early and have, 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 have been done with your nails, and I don't like putting myself under unnecessary pressure. When I see people sitting down waiting for me, or I have to be begging a client to wait because somebody came late, you know, it puts me under pressure, and I don't like it. I get tired easily. You know, I don't like all those energies around me. So, guys, kindly, um. Pay your booking fee if you are watching this, you know. And let me know if you are watching this and you had experience with people like this. Kindly let me know what how you how you deal with them, why we dealt with them in the comment section. So my advice to people, you know, if you deal with with um with service product providers, you should treat them with respect, you know. I do know those don't mean that I'm not educated, you know. I have a BS in pure chemistry, pure stroke industrial chemistry, you know. I can be working um in a pharmaceutical company or you know and you see me and you know talk to me anyhow then i i do news is my passion is what i love to do so i will not appreciate it if you know you talk to me if you talk to me anyhow and i will not want to disrespect you as well so if you know that you don't want to respect people that you, that provide, provide services for you please don't come my way because i will not even attend to you you know thank you guys for listening to my rant today um let me know your thoughts about my rant in the comment section and about this nail art I created. This is what it looks like, guys. Kindly rate me in the comment section. 0 to 10. Let me know how I did. Yeah. Thank you, guys, for watching this. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, I'll talk to you again in my next video, guys. Till then, stay blessed, guys. Bye.